Hey everybody, the Bong is here, ready to give you a brand new Let's Play! Super Mario Galaxy! For the Nintendo Wii, and this is brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Now this has been a much awaited Let's Play ever since I put it on the confirmed list, like ever since I finished a Let's Play, everybody's been wanting me to do this game. And you know what? Here we are. We're finally going to do this game. I will get all the stars. I've never done that before. Because, you know, I really haven't had a lot of time to do so. But we're definitely going to try at this point. Uh, obviously, the most I got was 86. And I haven't played it in, well, quite a long time, actually. But anyways, we're just going to start a new file here. Yes, I'm going to save. And, yeah, I think I might as well just... Eh... Yeah, I'll just pick me. Why not? But in any case, yeah, we're finally going to get started here. I don't know how many stars I'm going to get in each video. It probably depends on what stars I'm going for and how well I do at them. Every hundred years, a comet appears in the skies above the Mushroom Kingdom. The comet was so large one year, that's what she said, it filled the skies and sent countless shooting stars raining down. The toads brought the shooting stars to the castle, where they became a great power star. But smiling so much in the clouds are like, Whoa, the star is so big, we're in clouds and we're irrelevant. I don't know. It should have been a very happy time for the citizens of the Mushroom Kingdom, let me guess. It's not, isn't it? That was the Night of the Star Festival, held once every hundred years to celebrate the comet. Then why isn't it a happy time? Do they hate the Star Festival? Dear Mario, I'll be waiting for you at the castle on the Night of the Star Festival. There's something I'd like to give you. Winky face. Mario's like, I'm gonna get delayed tonight! Look at me, I'm an airplane! Alright, so obviously you just move around with the nunchuck, like, it's best to, like, play this with the nunchuck. In fact, I think it's the only way you can play. Certain people, you might have to press A to talk to them, or in other cases, you can just walk up to them and they'll just say something automatically. And if you want to pick up star bits, like, which counts as currency in this game outside of coins, you can either walk up to them, or use your Wii Remote to point that little star towards them. And you can get, like, a lot of star bits at pretty much this point. This is not an actual level. It's more like an intro, so to speak. Most of these toads here are just have flavor text, so don't worry about them that much. If anything, just put more of your focus towards finding these star bits. Oh, great. Pirates are attacking us. No way. That's Bowser. What else is new these days? Every time there's a festival, you know who's going to rain on that parade. Uh, that's a lot of ships. And encasing these toads in crystals? Okay, that's something new. No surprise, it's Bowser in charge. You know you gotta be absolute scum to put your face on pretty much anything like a ship? I don't understand why Peach is just staring at him. You know, you can, might as well just get in the castle. She's pretty much just asking to be kidnapped at this point. And that little star creature called Luma is not going to do anything either. Princess Peach! You are formally invited to the creation of our new galaxy! Wah! Exclamation point. This festival's over! Uh, is Bowser turning Super Saiyan or something? No, that's just UFOs. I'm staring at UFOs, but I'm too helpless to get away. Okay, I can't really do anything about these toads. They're pretty much on their own. I'd love to help you guys, but I gotta save the princess. She promised me stuff. I'm a comet princess! Whee! Don't forget, like, you can just hold Z to do, like, your long jump like you could in Super Mario 64. Maybe you could in Super Mario Sunshine as well, but I'm not that great at that game. Oh, 
Oh, please tell me this is not going to be the Mushroom Kingdom's version of Independence Day. Like that UFO is just going to destroy Peach's castle. With one big ion blast. Nope, it's just going to shoot rays around it and... Please tell me it's not going to try to take the castle upward. Didn't they already do that in Paper Mario? Just without UFOs? Sid Bowser just had a castle underneath it. This approach seems a little bit more logical. Because back in Paper Mario, people were wondering, like, oh, what's underground? I didn't know Bowser had a castle underneath us that whole time. That's gonna be some heavy duty change to like take not only the castle, but that big piece of land underneath. I'm pretty sure Mario's not gonna be able to jump that high unless he's already on that piece of ground. Well, it doesn't look like they're on Earth anymore. Uh, Peach, I'm pretty sure you're not supposed to breathe in space. Oh, Magic Koopa. So long, enjoy your flight. I'm a dick, and I'm gonna shoot you now. Mario, you could have just jumped over the Magic Koopa's blast. You've been doing that since Super Mario World. Another gun. Speaking of which, where's Mario? Where did he go? If this was like really space, Mario's head would inflate and explode. I saw it on The Simpsons. You know that's real. Oh, it's that Luma. Mario's like, where the hell am I? Oh, it's a rabbit. Finally, you're awake. Let's play. Uh, I got no time for this crap today. I've had enough of these guys in Super Mario 64. Basically, you just gotta follow this rabbit the whole time until you catch it. Oh, but well, basically until they go to the other three. Let's play hide and seek! Okay, so basically, to know what they really are, I have to go look for them. Hopefully it's just as simple as, you know, looking for them and then you're done with it. But nope, you gotta catch them too. And thank God for that rock over there to slow it down. Aw, I knew I should have hidden in the crater. Well, that's a pretty obvious hint on where I should look. Also, you can jump on these pipes and you will go down them automatically. And that just takes you to the other side of the island, and I think I caused that other bunny to be triggered. Now, sometimes the camera does dick around with you, and you're not wrong. So, I mean, you gotta pretty much focus, like, moving around by way of the camera. Because remember, this is anti-gravity you're dealing with here. You're in space. Again, about that crater. Fine, I'll check out the crater. First of all, I gotta find the crater. I just gotta find out what side of the planet it's on. Now, the coins are not gonna be that much special. But if you collect a fair amount of them, you will get an extra life. Okay, now where is that crater? Should be up oh, there. It is. Okay, I don't think that triggered the bunny or anything. So there was nobody in the crater at the time. Those bunnies lied to me. Those asses. But I mean, there's still time to look around for them. I'll get even more star bits as a result of this. But let's try that again. Maybe there was another crater. You know what? There's actually two craters. So I can kind of understand where they're coming from. Aha! There's two craters. Well, technically three craters. Because one crater takes you to another crater, and that one just takes you over to the bunny. Come on. I'm gonna catch you! I'm gonna catch you! Super Mario 64, it was a lot more annoying. I think they toned it down a little bit, just for Galaxy. Seems how you have to catch the bunnies to progress the game. Well, 
wow, you caught all of us? Maybe you really can help Mama. Who's Mama? Is Mama over there? Why does that look like a Roman Colosseum? But anyways, it looks like I gotta get up to the tower. Okay. You can use, like, that little corkscrew jump just by, like, uh, going one way, going backwards right away, and then hit the jump button. Remember, some of the jumps you learned in Super Mario 64 apply here as well. I've been watching you from here. This place is called the Gateway to the Starry Sky. Now, this here is Rosalina, even though she looks like Peach. I watch over and protect the cosmos. To save your special one, you'll need the power to travel through space. Luma can give you this power. I will entrust you with his care. Okay, so now Mario has a new special ability, the power to spin. Just shake the Wii remote, that's all. Disaster has struck us, just as it has visited you. With Luma, I hope you can rescue the Grand Stars. May the stars shine down on you. With lots of star bits, I hope. So basically, with this spin ability, you now have the ability to break these crystals. Observe. Eventually. And you can also stun enemies like that as well. Okay, when you get into this, shake the Wii Remote, and you'll go elsewhere. You're going to be doing that a lot, trust me. Okay, you launched star already, meteor smash it up. Okay, you need to find star chips in order to get the star launcher back. Now, when you see these black holes over there, when you go into them, you lose a life. Okay, we know how one-ups work. Okay, I just gotta watch out for these meteors over here because they can hurt you. If you want to get some health back, just get a coin. That's all you need. Okay, there's probably another star piece over here, and there we go. They can jump on enemies to get coins, which is pretty nice. Okay, so now I gotta get to that star launcher over here. If you're not sure about the meteors, just watch the shadows. Alright, so far so good. Like in some instances, when you actually spin into a Goomba, they'll still be upside down. If you walk into them, or spin into them again, you can get star bits instead of a coin. Just decide which you would rather want. I'm gonna stun just run into him. Yeah, that also works. Depending on the enemy itself. In some cases, just jumping on him will suffice. But this one's a little different. Like, this is a tougher version of a Goomba. Yes, even in, like, a standard Mario game, this palette swaps. So now that we got the key, we saved the little star bit, or the little Luma, and we should be good to go. Now it turns into a sling star. With that, I just gotta go over to save his buddy. Looks like I need to find a key. I guess I think there's gonna be a key. We'll probably just get, get to the end of this area. Oh, that's one big-ass Goomba. First, let me grab all these star bits over here. 50 star bits will also give you a one-up. Okay, so just kill the big Goomba, and that's how you get the key. Alright. I see a pipe over there, so obviously that's where I need to go. Oh, I want to grab that star bit. You're going to need star bits later on, and in some cases, you'll actually need them during a level. So make sure you collect as many star bits as possible to make your life a little bit easier. And plus, every 50 gets you a one-up. So there's another reason to go get them. Who's this we? Oh, that's the Grand Star. Okay, looks like there's some kind of puzzle to it. Duh, there's no time limit. Don't get nervous. So obviously I don't want to get taken any damage from these guys. Alright, basically what we have to do is just stand on these little consoles over here that are yellow. When you walk onto them, they turn blue. And I think if you walk onto them again, they turn yellow again. 
So just make sure you get every single one of them blue, and you should be able to solve the puzzle. I decided to deal with the ones on the side first, and then go for these. Yes, I know, uh, haven't you been watching me? Like, you've been witnessing me doing it, and why are you still explaining it to me? Okay, that's our first of many Grand Stars. Now, these stars are super important. Like, basically, you got your regular stars, and, well, the Grand Stars will just advance the game. Like, they're pretty much plot stars, so to speak. I don't know what ship I'm gonna be landing on, but it looks mighty dark. Shouldn't they be turning on lights or something? Actually, it turns out the Grand Star is the light source for this entire spaceship. Whenever you bring the Grand Stars over to that core, it lights up certain areas. This is pretty much going to be your hub. So the more Grand Stars you find, the more areas you can go to in the hub. Like right now, we got this place unlocked. And that counts towards your stars. There we go. Discover a new galaxy. Basically, a bunch of these places in the terrace. The terrace is pretty much going to be our first world that has many levels. The beacon is lit again! It shines weakly. Maybe only as bright as a Class 6 star. But at least the poor Lumas will survive now. Oh, thank you for saving the Grand Star. These star people are my family. They mean so much to me. Well, it's your family. Of course they're going to mean so much to you. Don't brag about it. <laughs> Welcome to the Comet Observatory. It's my home. And also home to the Lumas. You see, we travel the starry skies. Oh, that comet again. We pass by this area once every 100 years, but we suddenly stopped in front of this planet. A strange force had latched onto our ship, pulling away star bits and our power source. Power stars? I think it's gravity. Our ship had lost power, so it entered a deep hibernation state in which it could not move. Those who took your special one picked up the power stars and discovered the power to cross the universe. And that's no good. Okay, so your request is to save the Lumas, right? Okay, this observatory uses star power to project images of the galaxies that are st scattered across space. And there's a chance we can use our few remaining stars to look for other power stars. Those round rooms are called domes. We observe galaxies from domes such as these. But the only one who is working now, powered by the star power you restored, is this one. The Terrace. Yeah, so basically, just look around for stars, and then you should be able to find a power star within the terrace, which will allow you to go to other domes. That's pretty much how this works. It's like Super Mario 64, get as many stars, then you go face Bowser, and then you get a key that can allow you to go to other worlds. That's pretty much how it works here as well, only without the paintings. Okay, so basically, now we just go to the terrace, and well, yeah, dialogue. Okay, once this Luma tra transforms into like a pole star, we'll guide you to those faraway galaxies. Okay, so just aim at him and then press A. Or, well, hold A, really. Okay, these pole stars will also help you out in later parts of the game as well. Okay, how this works, we only have one star. Basically, the more stars you find, the more of these levels you can go to. For this one, you need three. This one, we have one which we grabbed earlier, so this is the only level we can go to. And it's called Good Egg Galaxy. So I'm going to stop the video here, and in the next episode, we're going to Good Egg Galaxy. A Good Egg Galaxy! Ugh. See you later, everyone. Thanks for watching.